as you guys can see, I no longer have locks. Don't Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my lock journey. I no longer have locks. This is a sewing one, by the way. It's a 4x4, 4x4 closure? I don't know nothing, okay? Please ignore the lip gloss on my chin. I know it's there, but I didn't realize it till after, so. Me and my team, which is just me and my mom. Obviously, I was the creative director, but really, my mom was the brains behind it all. She mapped my hair, she sewed it down, she got it flat, sewed it in. She helped me even cut my lace because when I tell you, I did not know what I was doing. She helped me pluck my part, she helped me do everything besides like the edges, and I'm still working on that. Don't look too close, don't look too close. No bumps, no humps, no nothing. Obviously, I still have my locks, but did you guys believe me? I took my optician's advice, got wavy hair. This is my first time getting wavy hair ever. There isn't any. But if there were, that this hair would have hit the bumps. You couldn't tell me I have locks. It's like unclockable. To me, at least. I had went to my mom and asked her. I was like, is this something we could do? And she's like, yeah, just show me a reference video so I know what I'm doing because we did not know what we were doing. Trust me. I'm going to tell you the whole story. I went to go look for those reference videos from TikTok on YouTube. There was like nothing. And from what we did see, it wasn't much. Hopefully, it's a little more than what I had when I did my research. So you guys can kind of see see what we did and how we did it but really we don't know what we're doing we're not professionals this is not a tutorial honestly i still think it came out good disclaimer do not come for how crazy i look because i look good now beauty is pain and it was a lot of pain going through my eyes like this please don't scissors if i poke you with the needle ah, what oh sorry there's a lot Good. Your face? Yeah. Yeah, you always look like that. <laughs> We're done. You're done. I looked crazy. Because you know when it comes to your mom doing your hair. You know when it comes to your mom doing your hair, you're gonna take breaks, you gotta cook food, you're gonna eat dinner, like stuff like that. Without the breaks, I would say it took like five hours, but with the breaks, it literally took us all day. It literally took us all day, but Ooh, I look crazy. <laughs> from my bsw so please don't ask me no questions <laughs> i don't know hair like that i don't know bundles like that i got 18 20 22 this is the longest length they have i will be the first to admit it i'm not a wig girly but i have tried wigs before i just feel like with all the effort you have to put into getting a damn wig and maintaining a wig is not worth just the look alone it's just not worth it the maintenance is so high that i just I just can't. I've never done this before. And trust me when I say I didn't even think I was going to be making this video. Of course, I've gotten sew-ins before, but that's when my hair was loose. But they were all leave-outs. So it's not that I'm absolutely going in blind. But with locks, it's an extra hurdle. We're going to figure it out together. Yeah, I'm editing this video and I literally had no... <laughs> faith like sorry not even to say i had no faith in my mom i was just very worried that like i was definitely missing something and that was going to contribute to the way my hair came out like i thought i didn't have everything it worked out but i was definitely worried i tried to get everything i would think i needed um, needle and thread i also got this tail comb new razor i need a sharp razor weaving net and there are caps i just thought the net would be a better choice because I don't know what it's gonna look like. I just don't. I also got this because all the girlies use it. Forty damn dollars on some bold holds. The pink one, based on recommendation. Okay. I feel like I don't have enough. I feel like I'm supposed to have a lot more, but this is what I got. This is all I have. I don't know if my mom wants to be on camera, so I don't even know how this video is gonna turn out yet. Honestly, we were really winging it, and I was just kind of filming the process, and that process is chaotic like you'll try to see my mom try to explain things and it's like i'm going to try to keep it as cohesive as possible because i really do think this will be a valuable resource to use and for other people even when i was looking i didn't know where to start so i feel like this would be a good jumping off point i don't know how this video is gonna turn out i hope you guys still enjoy like comment subscribe do all those things but yeah i i know the video is crazy i know i know we are retwisted. This just goes to show how much I appreciate my loctician because she is very gentle and 
like candid when i say ooh, over here is looking very promising so it doesn't it's not gonna look crazy in the front is what i'm trying to say okay the back that's another story okay guys oh hello this lighting is awful it's too loud do i even do this for real so it's been laying it's pretty much it's dry enough people who get retwist you know what i mean it's still like tacky so before we move on to phase three i am just going to condition my hair and my scalp with my carl's daughter black vanilla moisture and i put peppermint oil in it i don't know what you guys but this is what i've been using okay i also don't want to wet it too much because that will just undo the work that was just did but my mom didn't do a bad job now that i'm looking at it hold on this girl's rich cheap black tissue i'm going to condition my whole scalp Remember in the beginning when I really had an itch problem and people try to say it's because I need to wash my hair or whatever the case may be. I have done absolutely nothing different and all of a sudden I don't have itch. It was the hair. It was the lock extensions that gave me this damn itch, okay? Let me just figure this out. Okay. Ooh. They done put the things through the lace. What if I had a big forehead and I needed all this lace? You see that? Uh-oh, should I got it? Should I have gotten like bleach to bleach the knots or whatever? I, mean, I don't know. I am so nervous. <laughs> Who has edges up here like this? I could turn it. I don't know. I've never done hair over dreads before. Like, like, like that. I feel like your idea is better. I think we should just try and see. We've moved location for the light and watch the light. Okay, so we've moved locations Ooh, for better light. I'm like a little too good in here. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I can't teach them. We're teaching each other right now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So guys, we were looking at, not YouTube videos, we we're looking at TikToks to kind of get a reference of what the back of everyone's hair looks like because it's coming like nobody is posting the back of the hair. And I'm look, when we're looking at videos, all they did was braid it back, but to me that looks crazy and I feel like there's a better way, especially because my hair isn't that much. I don't have that much hair. It's not that long and it's not that super thick, you know? I think as long as it's flat up here, and even if you have this here, because that's, you're just sewing it on. On, yeah. As long this as this already all... looks so much better and flatter than all yeah. the rest of the ones I've seen so far. A lot of them didn't show the back. Like, people would be in the comments asking like, can we see the back? Can we see the back? They would not show the back. They also wouldn't show like the map that they used to do it. So we're just kind of assuming that they just braided it back and like sewed it together because that's what it looks like. We're not doing that exactly. We're just kind of, or not we, my mom is just kind of making her own map and tucking ooh, and tucking everything in. I don't know how to explain what she's doing. We kind of don't know what we're doing. There's no explanation to it. Actually, I lied. Upon further research, I realized that my mom used the traditional sew-in method along with the map and only made adjustments to fit my hair. We're just kind of figuring it out and like tucking it to make it as flat and tight as possible. And then she anchors it, secures it, and moves on to the next section, if that makes sense. Hopefully you can see and gather information from that. So... We'll see how it turns out, I don't know. So like this, remember the loose ones that were here? So now I'm just putting it into the second one that I'm doing. I'm gonna kind of keep trying to carry it over. It looks so much flatter than everybody else's hair. I I not say not hair. But granted, they did have a lot more hair than I did, so. So now I'm gonna braid this down. Even though I took some of the dreads here, I kept some out that will eventually go into the next Road that I do because I just don't want it to get too fat and clumpy around this area because the ends could always go into another one you could always feed this into something else yeah and we're also putting a net on top of it so having one of them you could like push them into the cracks rather than like bulk it up into the other braid so this looks good this is the first half of the hair yeah wait let me go in the mirror you're in the camera <laughs> did my face look lost <laughs> but this is what the half is looking like it's not too big. Basically, we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Like, this hurts. It hurts, but doesn't like hurt that much. It feels like my hair is getting braided. Ah! What? Oh, she poked the oily needle into my forehead and it gave me a pimple that I popped. Ghetto! I am not going back. Sorry! <laughs> you don't knock me in the head. It feels good. It looks good on this yeah. side too. 
And then I kind of ran out of space at the back. But that's okay. I feel like my hair is the perfect size, width, length, and number for it to come out as if like I don't have locks. That and if you had starter locks where it's super, super soft and you can lay them down, like you can compress them very flat. Or like, you know, starter locks when they're already very short. I was twisting it this side, right? And because of the resistance, it was trying to twist itself back this way, naturally. So instead of me forcing it to twist it this way and put the braids or the rest of the ends of the dreads here, I'm just gonna fill up this middle and it still gives a firm foundation, a flat foundation that we can still sew and it's not gonna be bulky. With the oil, don't put the oil because it's when you're twisting it and putting the thread, it's gonna be really slippery. The thread may not hold and the hairs may just slip apart. So now that it's done like this, if you're gonna do a net, before you put the net on, if you have those oil bottles, you can just spray to moisten your hair before you put the net on it. I'm gonna oil my scalp just because I could already tell that my hair might get itchy. Before we put on the net, oh, this hurts so bad. My crown has always been tender, so this is not nothing new. Just as long as you could catch all the ends. But I was thinking, even if I could braid this, not braid, sew this, kind of like here, right? Cause that's there. This could even go here. And next, this next one could go under here. And then it'll be like, a solid foundation, still kind of puffy, but not as puffy. I'm stuffing. Ooh, you guys get it. I'm tired of this. Two hours later. You could tell there's like a bump, you know? But it's inevitable. It's gonna happen. Oh no, my camera's dying. My camera died, but my mom is basically telling me um, to tie my hair back, starting from the back, to kind of shape it and compress it more, and tuck in, which I already did, tuck in the loose ends, like, underneath my hair. But you see these, like, these little ones I tucked underneath, just to tuck it up. And then I'm going to moisturize first. Then I'm gonna tie it down to compress it even more. Even though this is like really good, like this is so flat and this is why I always trust my mom because my mom is always gonna get it right. She's always gonna get it right no matter what, child. It is the goal to keep my hair healthy and not just do stuff to do stuff just to be doing stuff. So this lighting is crazy, I know, hold on. So she said to tie it from the back and squeeze to really compress it. She actually has hand problems, so the fact that she's even doing my hair, very grateful. You cannot tell me I have locks. Who says I don't just have got braids on? Yeah. Yeah, this E. People like... Three different people said they're gonna call you. I want here to kind of be spaced out, but I want here to be fuller. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go around the edges and then I'm gonna knot each one that it doesn't pull away Oop, so easy. Just sew so where you need to sew and then cut the rest off. How do people use your... Let's be... Hey boy. Hey. 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 It's pretty long. The goal was to get long hair, so I might as well have gotten the longest. Hey, what wave is this? Body wave? It looks like beach wave. Beach wave? And the result looks really good. I already like it. I'm just scared about the lace because I'm not a lace girl. It feels good. It doesn't feel like my hair is floating off my head. Like, you know how if you were doing it like up here, it would have felt like a big gap? It doesn't feel like that. So, ooh, bundle number two. It, and it, this is doubled. My mom so wants to do it single. Why are you whispering? Three? No, it's natural. I asked Deja so what. So two? No, it just says natural. What the hell? It doesn't even say the body wave or nothing. But yeah, I'm it's glad so I got cool. this lighter color too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do one more, right? Just up to here. And then we're gonna try to do the closing so I can see 
how else. With the net, it's a lot more uniform. So she's just going back and forth. She's not doing anything special. Okay, so now we're up here. We don't want to pick out her edges. So we're going to put the edge of the hair here. So then she has the baby hairs. Looks like it's going to be flappy. But once this is glued down and secured, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay there. I'm going to start sewing from here. When I start sewing the rest, it'll just fall and go all around this. With the lace front, I want to make sure that the sewing is very close together. And I'm going to knot it every single time. Okay. You're happy with where your lace is? Yeah. Because this is a key thing that you need to make sure that you're happy with. Because now when I do the rest of the hair, I'm going to use the lace corners to like tack oh. on here. So once you get to that point, it'll be really hard to move it. So I need to make sure that you're... I mean, as far as I know I am, I couldn't, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. Bump it six feet under. Good. Per period. <laughs> Close up the gap, and then I'm gonna lay this lace. A team that didn't know what they were doing in the beginning, we you ate. It. We ate everybody else up. Just know, okay? What is it? Lace by LT. Locks by LT. The top bundle. We're gonna double to give some volume to the hair. Doubling is just sewing both wefts at once. What I kind of like to do too, I usually double the bottom mm -hmm. and then the middle, I, I do it single because it gives you more wiggle room to see how much hair you have left, to see what you're using depending, everybody has different size heads, right? Yeah, that's true. And if your head's big, you're out of luck is what she said. <laughs> well, if your head's big, then everything is being singled. <laughs> weird like this looks as if i was to do it with my like loose hair this feels like it's too big i don't know what i'm doing i'm nervous okay i'm just gonna do it okay i'm just gonna do it <laughs> i have to look into my mirror let me just adjust it. i'm going to flip this up flip it back right so i'm rubbing alcohol i don't know if you guys know we came I'm just doing what I see all the girlies doing until it goes clear. Second coat. And I don't know, am I supposed to cut the lace before or after? I feel like I need more. And... Or what? No, wait, you do it like this. What? That's why. You're supposed to tie it down so it sets. And I'm here tugging at it. Oh shit. Um, there is no middle part. I'm getting my mom to pluck my part, even though it looks better already. So we'll get like that. Yeah. Are you, you gonna ready? comb it out up here now? Yeah, that looks good. Like if you go like, <laughs> I'm scared. I was so scared that my mom was going to cut through the lace and ruin the frontal, but we went back to the tweezers and worked on it some more. And then eventually we moved on to the actual lace front. After over an hour of working on it, I just wrapped it up and called it a night. Good morning. Last night wasn't terrible. It's very tight. I'm going to take this off because I feel like this is, this is what's causing most of my tension on my head. And then I tried the thing with the edges. Okay, usually I could do edges, okay? Don't cover me, I could usually do edges. When I first woke up, it was tight. I didn't have a headache and it wasn't hard to sleep. It was just, there was tension. And I really do believe it's because I was cutting off my circulation, sleeping with the band on. My mom's like, oh, but you cut your hair anyways. Yeah, but I don't plan to keep my hair in a bob my whole life. Like, I definitely plan to get haircuts, but so I just know when my hair reaches that length, it's going to be that much harder to do it if I can do it at all. And I just know with time, it's going to become more difficult with how my hair grows without it looking crazy. Like, this right now doesn't look crazy because my hair is still short. Leave your reviews down below. Tell me what you guys think, if you think it's clockable. If you guys didn't know that there was locks under my hair, would you think that there was locks under my hair? 
I don't think so. Everybody tell my mom to be great down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and following my journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. No bars.